I recently met a woman who said to me, Lauren, I love your content. I love your message. I love your passion for skincare and everything. And I wish I had met you when I was younger because at this point in my life, it's just too late. I have done too much damage to my skin and I feel like there's just no hope for me. And as she's saying this to me, I was looking at her. She is in her 50s and I thought to myself, this woman is absolutely beautiful. If she just started using a few key ingredients right now, within six months, she would see just this transformation in the mirror. And I know that not only would she see this transformation, she would feel it as well. She would feel more confident and she would feel like she had control over a situation where she felt like she completely lacked control. And I told her as much and I said to her, just start doing this, be consistent, and you are going to be amazed. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what I told told her to use, what I told her to do, and it does not matter how old you are, what your skincare routine has been like beforehand, if there's even ever been one, but trust me, using these ingredients is going to set you down that right path. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell, and I'm the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. That's right, I have an American accent. I, whoops. That's right, I have an American accent, but I live in Dubai. I'm originally from Milford, Connecticut, USA, and I moved along, I moved to Dubai with my husband 14 years ago. He's originally from Minnesota. We met in university, and we have two kids that have been born and raised out here. So it's a little bit of a different type of life, but it's one that suits me very well. So when this woman said to me that she felt like it passed her by, I said to her also, nothing in your life that's meant for you can ever pass you by. And it's, it goes far beyond a skincare routine, but if you have any little, uh, something inside you, this little sort of, I don't know how to describe it, like something that's just kind of scratching you a little bit, that's saying, hey, I'm here, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. Just maybe this little secret in your heart of something you've always wanted to do, or if you're doing a job and you've always wanted to have a different job, no matter what it is, if it's traveling, if it's starting your own YouTube channel, if you have something you want to experience or share with the world, and that little feeling, that little voice isn't going away, it's because there's something greater for you than what you're doing right now. And it's saying to you, take the leap, go for it, trust it, and just, just embrace the journey. You know, you're never too old. Whatever weight you are is the right weight. You're beautiful just as you are. You're worthy and you can do anything you set your mind to. And I told her that, I tell that to everybody. I always tell that to my daughter. And I just say, you know what, trust yourself. And while you're doing it, make sure you wear that SPF every single day. And that is the first ingredient I told her to start wearing. She just was a woman that tans beautifully in the sun. And so she never really wore the SPF at all, or she wore an SPF of four. And she had hyperpigmentation, sun damage, and some fine lines and wrinkles on her face because of it. But the thing is that although, okay, yes, she's had that damage, she can right now start preventing future damage. And preventing is always the right way to go. Of course, there's also correcting, which we'll get to in a minute. But when it comes to SPF, you want to use a broad spectrum sunscreen, sunblock every single day. Broad spectrum means it's going to counteract both the UVA and the UVB rays, and the UVA rays are the ones that silently age us. They can even penetrate through window glass, and you might see studies that say, oh, it doesn't penetrate that much. Well, guess what? It still does, and I've been using my SPF all over my body every single day, even if I'm having just a chill day indoors, and I am proof that it works because my skin is still pre looking pretty clear and I am 40 years old. So wear that broad spectrum sunblock and the UVB rays of course are the ones that burn us. Now when it comes to the sunblock, there are two types out there. There's chemical and there's mineral. Mineral sunblocks are going to kind of just create a shield on your skin. They don't get absorbed by your skin. They just sit on top of it. When the sun rays come, they just bounce right off your skin because of the mineral sunblock. 
The problem is, is that if you sweat a lot, if you are going in the pool, the second water moisture touches that mineral sunblock, it's going to come off and your skin's exposed. For that reason, I always use chemical sunblocks. Chemical sunblocks are absorbed into your skin and as the UVB, UVA and UVB rays are absorbed into your skin as well, a chemical reaction occurs, they turn to heat and the heat just dissipates from your skin. Because I live in Dubai and I'm an active person, I try to work out <laughs> five or six days a week. I at least walk my dog, but I'm always out and about doing things and just the chemical is the way for me. Otherwise, I would just sweat everything off, be completely exposed, and that's not something I want for my skin. Also, whenever I get in the car, I've always made a habit of this. I carry the Super Goop Glow Stick. I'll link some sunblocks that I like and some of the other products that I like down below if you wanna check them out. Just keep in mind that all of those links are commission based. I make a very small commission at no cost to you off of anything that you choose to buy from the links. Just, I love to be transparent, so just being transparent. But anyways, I love the Super Goop Glow Stick and every single time I get in my car, I just put it, after I put on my seatbelt, I put that glow stick on my hand. Sometimes I'll just rub it on my chest as well. And because I have this habit of it, I continually do it throughout the day. So I'm always really protecting my hands because the skin on our hands is quite thin and it's prone to aging it's prone to just getting more of those sunspots. You know, it's kind of funny with the word aging. That's why I just sort of stopped because I've realized that I, I find anti-aging just that phrase to be so toxic. I hate it, to be honest with you. And I'm not someone that really hates things, but I hate that phrase. And I feel like that because I don't want to anti-age. I feel like aging is such an honor, it's such a blessing. And I always just go back to my own kids. You know, I couldn't imagine if I had passed away, you know, when I was younger, before I hit the age of 40, and I missed them growing up. I missed everything and they didn't have a mom. So I feel like now at 40, Although 40 is young, it's a milestone. And growing up when you're in your 20s, when you were in your, maybe your early 30s, 40 just seems so far away. And then when you hit 40, you realize how young it is. I've never felt younger in my entire life. But at the same time, you know, 40 is a milestone. It's a, it's a big one. And a lot of girlfriends I have were dreading 40. And I always just said, it's an honor. It's a blessing. Think of all the women that didn't make it this far. I don't want to anti-age. And also I find that pro-aging, that just seems like such a marketing term. But what I really want to do is just age well. I want to do it. I want to do it well and I want to enjoy it as much as I can in every way that I can and just fully embrace it. So I'm not against aging and I don't think that there's anything wrong with having fine lines, wrinkles, and sunspots, but I also just want my skin to look the healthiest. I want my skin and my, my, my outer self to just reflect on, reflect how I feel inside. That's what I'm always going for. And I like to look healthy and juicy. <laughs> I like to look plumped up and you know, it suits me. It works for me. And these ingredients help me get to that place. And they also just keep my skin barrier healthy. They keep my, my body very healthy. So I think for me, it's a win-win situation, but yes, the SPF is always number one. Second of all, I said to her, you really need to hone in on your antioxidants. There's vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Vitamin A is a, is the retinoid. That is, is that huge retinoid umbrella and there's so many different derivatives. If you go to my Instagram account, I have a lot of information on there. Um, you have to scroll down a little bit, but I made a really nice infographic a while ago. And if you look at the text box, there's so much, I should probably make a video on it, but um, there's lots of different types of retinoids. Now, I personally love hydroxypenicolone retinoid. I know that that is a mouthful, it's usually abbreviated to HPR. This is a retinoic acid ester. What that means is when you put it on your skin, the retinoic acid receptors within your skin can just pick up on it right away and it's just gonna start working a lot faster. If you are someone that is prone to breakouts, you might want to look at retinal. It's a retinal to hide, but it's retinol with an A instead of the O. And that one needs to undergo just one reaction, chemical reaction, before it can 
bind to those receptors, but it has an antibacterial, antimicrobial property as well. And from what I've read, it seems like it works really well for those with oily to uh, normal to oily skin or acne prone skin. But for me, I love the HPR. I think it just works so well. I can start to see the results so much sooner. And retinol, of course, or the retinoids, of course, they're going to increase the cell turnover, and you're just going to have skin that looks a lot healthier, more youthful, plumped up, and, and minimize those fine lines and wrinkles, and just keeping that skin looking incredibly radiant. Now, moving on from vitamin A, there's then vitamin C, which is probably one of my favorite skincare ingredients. This one is going, this, is, this antioxidant is going to really brighten your skin skin. It's going to smooth out your fine lines and wrinkles, minimize the appearance of hyperpigmentation. I use it every single morning. It also counteracts oxidative stress. So if you're having that type of sun exposure, it's not going to replace your SPF, but think of it as putting maybe croutons on a salad. It's just a nice little bonus to have. But I am a huge fan of vitamin C and I love tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate, another big one that you can reduce to THD ascorbate. And there's so many great THD ascorbate uh, serums out there. I do have videos on my morning and my evening skincare routine, and I'll link those down below as well. I do also have videos on morning and skincare routines that contain these ingredients I'm telling you about, and all of the products are under around $20 each or less. So if you're looking for a lower price point items that still work, you wanna check out those videos. I'll make sure everything is down there. Lastly, vitamin E is a great one to smooth out those fine lines. And I love putting products that contain vitamin E underneath my eyes. That is going to really just help me with that area. Now, people always say to me, oh yeah, but you get Botox. And you know what, I have had Botox. All my Botox right now is worn off. There's no Botox on this face. I like to get Botox as a preventative, and you can see that my forehead doesn't move, my eyebrows don't move when I talk. You know, 10 years ago, no one ever commented on this to me, but now I think at 40, people are, because they think I just look like I have a frozen face, but actually, I have never moved my eyebrows when I talk. I have no idea why. If you look back at my earliest YouTube videos, or if you, have the time and you want to, you can go to my Instagram account and scroll all the way back down to when I first started Instagram. I never move my eyebrows when I talk. I don't know if I just have a, I'm missing a muscle, <laughs> if I have a, a really strong muscle down there or a weak one, I don't know, but this is how I am. But you can see that when I smile, oh, there's a little eyebrow hair here. What's on my hand? Oh, some eyeliner right there on my hand. I'm a little bit of a mess right now. But you can see when I smile, you can see I do have some crow's feet. So usually I just get a little bit right here. I think I get 10, 10, and then he puts 15 here. And I don't have the 11s, but I mean, I can move my eyebrows, of course. But you can see, I was just getting it as a preventative just to, uh, you know, make sure I don't get the 11s because I just didn't want them. Not that there's wrong anything wrong with them. So I don't have any Botox right now though. I'm due soon actually. My doctor, uh, he sent me a text message saying, are you gonna come in soon? And I need to, I've just been super duper busy. But that vitamin E is a great one. And I have a video called How I Age Backwards, which it's funny when I made that, my account was still quite small. And I just was trying to come up with different ideas for videos and that one went viral. That was my first ever viral video. Uh, it was just this year, it was in January. I had said to myself, I'm going to really get serious about my YouTube channel this year. And I decided in January, I would make a video every single day and publish it. And on, I think it was day seven, I went viral, which was amazing. Also interesting to see what people, the comments that are on that video are insane. There's some really nice ones. And then there's some that are just so awful. Actually, today I commented on back to one lady. I usually don't address the negative comments, but she just had commented at least three times on this one video and she was so triggered by it. And I, and she, she was saying things that were like, my, my face doesn't match my neck. My forehead doesn't move. Um, she's, I don't know. She said some other stuff and I, I wrote her back and I said to her, you know, 
it, it's, I, I can't remember exactly how I said it, but basically I said to her, this is very, you know, disturbing. <laughs> and I said to her, you know, I'm, I'm coming from a place of compassion, but I really feel like you need to do some healing because commenting so many times on one video is just not, it's not a, a thing that someone who is doing that inner work would do. And I addressed the issues that she had with my face, but at the same time, I, I you know, I, I felt like she needed to have a little bit of guidance and I hope that I could give that to her. And you know, I I wasn't upset by it or anything like that. I am very confident in myself and comments from the internet, you know, people on the internet, they just don't affect me. But I just felt like, wow, something is really going on with this woman. She needs some, she needs some help. So I hope that I gave that to her. So that's my daughter <laughs> and my dog just waved, say hello. Hi. Of course, she's in her crop top, these Gen Zs. But getting on from the vitamin E, there's two other ingredients I really want to just, I, that I suggested to this woman. The first one is also, you have to get yourself in love with the alpha hydroxy acids. Now, these are replacing the old school uh, grainy, grainy exfoliators that we used to use. There's a certain walnut one. Oh my gosh, I used to put the walnut scrub on my face and then use a face brush and really brush it in. I My poor skin barrier, I am so sorry to it. But you know what happens is when you have these scrubs, if you were to look at the actual grains underneath a microscope, you would see that they are completely jagged. You know, they are, they're terrible. They would probably look like, like a rock and like a, a jacket rock. And so you're rubbing that all over your face. You're creating these micro tears and bacteria can get in and cause acne. You can get inflammation, redness, and you're going to have a very uneven skin texture. So what you wanna do instead is to use alpha hydroxy acids. There's different types within this. this is another one of those umbrellas, kind of like the retinoids. But with the alpha hydroxy acids, what they all are going to do is basically unglue the bonds on your skin surface between the dead skin cells. So when they unglue those bonds, those skin cells can just slough off and you're just left with beautiful, just fresh skin underneath. And they also help to minimize the appearance of sunspots. So that's another added benefit to them. Lactic acid is one that's great for dry skin. I have dry skin and it has an added benefit of it increases the moisture in your skin by increasing the ceramide, ceramide production. And ceramides are part of our stratum corneum. That's our outer skin layer. And they're responsible for keeping our skin just looking soft, supple, and helping our skin to be nice and elastic. So if you have oily skin, you wanna look towards glycolic acid. And if you have very sensitive skin, check out mandelic acid. That one actually comes from almonds and it is just, it has bigger shape, bigger size molecules. So it's not going to be able to penetrate the skin as deeply. Glycolic is the most intense. I don't use glycolic, it's too much for me, but they have very, glycolic has very small molecules. So it's gonna be able to penetrate a lot deeper. Now, lastly, I told her to start a relationship with peptides and peptides are wonderful ingredients. When you put peptides on your skin, I use a peptide cream by Drunk Elephant. It's called the Polyproteiny Peptide Cream. And when you put peptides on your skin, they send a signal to your brain that there is an injury at that site wherever they're applied. And so your brain starts this whole set of series of reactions to get that collagen to start building more at that area to, re to heal the injury. And so of course, with that more collagen that you're having, it's going to plump up those fine lines and wrinkles. And it's just going to give your skin a nice, healthy, juicy look to it. You're going to just have that nice plumped up skin. So I said to her, start looking for these ingredients. And that is the best place to start. I just said start twice, but you know what I mean? I've been talking for 19 minutes now, but I said, you know, start here. And as you have more questions, just ask me, ask your dermatologist. I'm not a dermatologist. I call myself a beauty expert. I'm a beauty editor and I do have a background in the sciences. I have a master of the science in nursing and I have a bachelor's of science in biomechanical engineering. So the sciency aspect, looking at the research and always reading up on different ingredients is interesting to me. I love it. I do it in my free time. But I said to her, start here and 
you're going to be amazed. And she felt so excited. She felt inspired. She said, okay, I'm going to go get these products and I'm going to keep you posted. And I said, please do. I would love to hear. So I hope you found that interesting. And if you're wondering what are, what is your morning skincare routine, Lauren? What is your evening skincare routine? I'll start off by linking you with my evening one right here and I'll add everything else down below.